Good morning, ma'am. Um, please, I'd like to submit an application. Are you leaving, sir? Yes, Very fine, thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Ah, His Excellency, sir. Chief, Chief, after you, now you. Eh, what were you even saying? I said I would love to submit an application for the job opening. What's your name and what category is your application director? Jemima, you see me? Category 7. Um, go back inside and call that girl for me. Um, can I follow it up, ma'am? Thank you, Bish. All right, thank you so much. Sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry for bugging you. My boss, the one that just walked past you now, said they want to talk to you. Well, I don't see anyone. I think he's outside. Can I lead you? Okay. It's okay, even when you don't use a lot. You're a great <laughs> cook. Eh? So, do you think these people will call? <sighs> no, I don't think so. Not with that sex, she will seem not to like me at all. Uh, maybe she likes you. She <laughs> just wanted you to tip. Tip him? Yeah. <laughs> Please, tip him. When that was my last dime except for my transportation fare back home. And uh, talking about tipping, <sighs> my day's toaster, you know, these old men who think they can have whatever they want simply because they have a lot of money. Ah, she just said it now. They've got a lot of money, so, you know, they think they can have anything <laughs> and everything. So, how was your day? So-so, went well. We pray for greater days ahead. Yeah, I really hope so. God, because God knows we need it. <laughs> Alaji, Alaji, my very good friend, you will never change. Well, speaking of women, there is this pretty damsel that not only caught my eyes but my heart the last time I visited your company. <laughs> Listen, this particular candy, I am getting it at all costs. Lest I forget, Alaji, I am organizing a political party glee uh, for the party hierarchy just to get them on my side, you know. Well, I'm learning from the masters. That's my friend talking. Thank you so much. We'll talk again. <laughs> All right. Babe, I just received this message. These people seem legit. What do you think about this event planning business? What's the matter? Yeah. I've been thinking, yeah? I've been thinking of quitting this teaching job and take some time off and find, find another job that would serve us better. <laughs> Babe, you mean this same job haunting thing I've been on for quite this while? Look, I'll kick against that. 
Okay? Let's just keep managing with the little you earn for now. Jemima, the little that I earn can no longer carry us. Our expenses fattening up by the day. Can you not see? Okay. How about this? Okay? I look for a job, and then once I get one, then you can quit and look for something better. How is that a plan? <laughs> but Bimira is quitting your present job. They told me you are here making your hair. What's up now? I'm fine, you know, dear. Ah. What's going on? It's fine, you know. <laughs> My dear. This simple thing. What's up? There's a new gist in town. Mm -hmm. ah. My husband heard from a reliable source that Papa has sold his property. Ah, but Irene, what kind of cheap gossip is that? Ah, ah. I don't want to sell cheap gossip now. Papa has sold his house. Okay. Ah, ah. Well, Baba has every right to do whatever he wants to do with his property, can't he? You are so unbelievable. <laughs> Don't you know what usually happens when one sells his house? Uh -huh. Eh? What happens? I can see you're not taking this seriously. <laughs> no vex. Eh? I'm the one that came to look for trouble. Hmm? It's fine. <laughs> Let me come and go. You've seen my body. Okay. Well done. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later, okay? When I get back to the compound, okay? It's okay. Alright. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Take idea. All right, dear. <laughs> Bye. Please, sorry, don't pull it too much, eh? Don't pull it too much, please. Hey, hon. Hey, welcome, home, honey. Oh, well, you're back home early. Yes, I am. I we didn't have much to do anymore. So I decided to show up early and rest. Oh, looks like your salary came early too. No, it's not my salary. The cash guy handed it to me at the entrance of the gate there. Oh, I don't okay. even know. I haven't opened it. Let's mm. see what it is. Um... Oh, what does it say? So, it's true. Irene's husband gave this to you. Yes, I did. Did you know about this? Irene barely hinted me on this some days ago. I mean, how can they give us such a short notice? How does one begin to find a house within just one month? Is the problem finding a house within one month or the, the fact that we don't have money? What is this? Oh my God. <gasps> Who gives anyone a one month notice? What is happening? Babe. Honey. Woman. The trip to Rome, are you coming with me? No, Chief. I can't make it. I want to rest from the last trip. You can go alone. the young man Jordan directed to you. The young man Jordan recommended mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Have you met him? Yes, I have. He seems quite impressive, but I'm yet to fully understand him. So let's just say I'm still studying him. I'm impressed. Uh, yes, the way you're taking the fruit wine, I, I'm happy. Instead of taking the alcohol, you meant to stuff yourself with. This chemical. I'm just taking it because of you. It's good. Instead of alcohol, this one is better. And fruits and everything. Don't worry. Please. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Totally there's fruit here. <laughs> don't worry, I'm done. I'll prepare the fruit the way you like it. <sighs> Irene, ah, how are you? I'm fine. Wow. Welcome back. Thank you. Long time. I came to look for you before, but you went around. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, I went out briefly. Please come. I want to talk to you. Okay, I'm, to okay I'm coming down. Okay. <sighs> Welcome back. 
Thank you. How are you? <laughs> What's going on? <gasps> My dear, I went to see a property agent. How did it go? That one, he took me way, way off Lagos, all in the name of searching for a house. Hey. I couldn't even believe we still have such places in this town, sir. Hey. It's very stressful. Hey, yeah. Uh, what will I do without you in this compound then? Anyway? <laughs> Meanwhile, my husband got a name. What are you talking about? Uh, the new owner of this property now. Uh, who is she? It's a man. He only bought it in his daughter's name. Oh, his name is Chief Donald. I also hear he's a politician. Why don't you and Brian go talk to him? Plead with him. He might be considerate after a healthy approach. What do you think? Huh? I'm going to talk to Brian about it. But meanwhile, thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Let me rush back home. Let me prepare for you. You'll soon be back from work. Okay. okay my regards to your husband. I will. I'll right. tell you later, okay? Take care, dear. Okay, bye. Bye. All right. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Sorry, eh? Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Good afternoon, how are you? Um, good. Please, how is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up? I'm good. Um, are you going out? Yes, yeah, so um, Brian and I, we have to go meet an agent. We've been waiting to see him for a long time, so we just got a call from him now to go see him. Okay. Um, <laughs> sis, um, I told you about my friend that has um, space issues with her roommate. I don't know if you can remember. Yes. Okay. Um, it's Susan here. She got into another serious fight with the girl. And um, it's not advisable for her to go back home tonight. So I was, um, I was thinking she could just pass the night here and tomorrow she, you know, she can just... Huh? Yes. Ready? Yes, I am. Good evening, yes, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Good evening, sir. Yeah, hello. We will continue this discussion tomorrow, okay? Please, I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Hey. What are you moving now so stupidly? Is that your sister's husband? Yes. Why? My God, he's so cute. Oh, you're very stupid. I'm convinced you're stupid. You see, Chief. That school was founded by the mother of the current owner. And with the commitment they have towards that property, I can tell that they won't let that property go for anything. Then triple the offer. Sir, do you mean we should triple the stake? Exactly. I want that property at all costs. But what exactly do you need the property for? With all due respect, sir, the offer we made for that property is worth more than the property. And now you're asking that we triple the stake? Barrister, your business is to follow my instructions, not to question them. So get to work. Ah. Okay, sir. That is what you want. Have a nice day, sir. You too. Look, Malik had no right to disclose my personal operations with him to you. He's my lawyer, for goodness sake. I am concerned about how you spend your hard-earned money. Look, I need that school to set up a free education program for my political campaign. What's wrong with that? Oh, Chief, even at that, even at that, I don't understand. I am, it doesn't still make sense to me why you are desperate about acquiring that school. And what you're putting in there is outrageous. I made a first offer to them which they turned down. So I had to increase it and give them an offer they could not resist. It is done in business. Oh, Chief, the money is too much. The money is too much. Oh. If you make the second offer and they don't trust it, forget about it. Was it in that school? Eh? Was it in that school? Hey, what's so special about that school? What? Why are you getting all worked up? Why? You make it all work. Yes? Throwing money around. You should think about it. Look at what you're investing in. Is it not just money? I don't like it, Jimmy. Please. I don't like it. I don't like the way you're going about it. Brian, what is it? 
Please call you. You just... Uh, and then you just walked past Celia and I in the living room without saying anything to either of us. What's wrong? So I'm okay. The lawyers were here today. The new owners were. What did he want? What did he want? Are you serious, Brian? It's when we passed the notice we were given. The school has been shut down. What school are you talking about? God forbid, Brian. We will live through it and we live through it victoriously as a matter of fact. We can explain for that. I don't know, they just... News got to us today that there's been changing ownership of the school and the shutting it what's, what's going on? Why are people just suddenly buying properties left and right all of a sudden? To Bola, that she has bent on making you have peace in this house. What? Sylvia, can you imagine all these girls with insecurity issues? Bola said I, Susan, snatched her fiancé from her. Can you imagine that? Men. Don't bother yourself, Celia. The most important thing is that I, Susie, I'm going to shock Bola. See, eh? by the time I'm done, I'm going to leave this small asshole she calls a room, okay? So you don't bother yourself. And see, Celia, that wasn't the main reason why I invited you over. I actually invited you so we can talk about something of high importance to me. Please. Um. <clears throat> Susie. Yes, Celia. If it's about you asking me for a loan, I don't have. Come One on. naira I don't have. You, you have to always read my mind. Because I know you pretty well. I know when you want to ask, borrow, beg, request for a loan. I don't have. Trust me. Oh, Celia, I beg you, please. Celia, I beg you. I need this money to sort out issues with Mr. James in school. Please, Celia, I need you to help me, please. 
Susan, if I were you, I'll go settle my differences with Bola. I mean, how do you intend to rent another apartment? Huh? You do not. Do you not think that this could be a mere coincidence? That he's the same buyer of the school. I mean, these things happen. You never know with this rich people. I don't know what it is. But I think we should adhere to Irene's advice. What? Go look for the man and beg for more time. Really? Where do we begin to find such a man? We'll find him, Brian. We have to. But what if he doesn't agree? Look, I'll speak to Irene's husband tomorrow, okay? And then we do it doesn't work. What do we do? It will work. It has to work. Look, if he listens to us and he doesn't have compassion, then he's not human. This is all so confusing. <sighs> Welcome. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Yes, what can I do for you? Oh, well, sir, my... My name is Brian. Brian C, correct? Yes, sir. Former staff of Top Excellence Secondary School. And this is your wife, Jemima IC, beautiful woman. I hope she remembers that we met before. I know we've met before, sir, but I'm still trying to play the events in my mind. Well, I hope you remember. So, what can I do for both of you? Right, well, sir, um, we've actually come here to keep you here, sir. See, we. We we are one of we are one of your tenants, you know, occupying your, your property at, at your street. And I I've also been recently dismissed from from work where, where I teach. So we come to to see. We come to ask for some more time or a reconsideration from your staff, please. Please, 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 stand up, stand up, both of you, stand up, please, sit down. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I, uh, I actually wanted that place for a stranded niece of mine. <sighs> um... Nonetheless, I'm human and I have a heart, so um, I will withdraw the notice. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. That's all right. And uh, in respect of your job hunt, yes, sir. Uh, come by this time next week with your credentials. Let's. See what we can do for you. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. It's all right. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Let, let's not take off your time. Sir. That's all right. That's all right. I'll see you. I'll see you next week. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Honey. Yeah. 
You remember that day I told you about my toaster? And I made a statement about all men who think they can have whatever they want just because they have a lot of money. Hello, pretty damsel. Hello, sir. Would you mind stepping into the car so that we can go for a ride and have a chat? I really can't go anywhere with you, sir. Besides, we can definitely talk here. Okay. Okay, okay. Why not just come in and sit with me instead of standing outside? I'm not complaining, sir. Quite an assertive young woman, and uh, that adds quite some flavor to your beauty. My name is Chief Donald. What's your name? My name is Jemima. Princess Jemima. What a beautiful name for an astonishingly beautiful woman. Thank you. Listen, my dear. Back in Alaji's office, when I set my eyes on you. My heart did a double skip. Look, if you can spare me some of your time, I'll make sure you never regret it. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my god, I'm so sorry. But aren't you embarrassed to have those words fall out of your mouth? Well, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm not that kind of woman. Here's my card. When you change your mind, you can call me. We could be good friends, you know. I could be useful to you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Leave me alone, God! Shameless old man. So that was the beginning of my misfortune. Sometimes I wonder how these guys with empty pockets, they end up with the best specs. Compensation chief. Are you allergic? you Gentlemen, you forgot that a man with an empty pocket has his words. He is on a cavity. Very true. Yes. Very, very true. Oh, wow. I have heard so much about this and you catch Chief Donna. This damn son must be something. She is more than something. Mm -hmm. And I'll do whatever it takes to keep her for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. Wow, gentlemen, this call is private. Please, please, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Are you aware that you recently got the phone? Careful. Where is your adversary? Oh, gentlemen, I hope to have one. Not at all. Oh, no, not, not at all. all. That's not why you're here. I'm impressed by your credentials. Even though you're science inclined fully. But um, 
Anthropology is an amazing discipline. And I'm wondering, how do you intend to cope in the business world? Anyway, I want you to go through these documents. can say that again and again and again and each of them is worth millions and millions and millions of naira well, this is really, really, really huge. if I may ask yes, what was your salary in your last job oh um, I was earning 30,000 naira sir. I see okay yes, I want you to run those two companies because they are an affiliation. Can you do that? Sir. Sir, you must be joking. I am dead serious. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Sit down. God bless you, sir. Sit down. That way. Um. I don't need to pay you a salary, 10% of whatever the company makes every month. Don't worry about the system, I'll have somebody coach you through. And uh, like the smart boy you are, I know... I will catch up, sir. I will, I will catch you up. will definitely catch up, I know that. I know that. Thank you, sir. However, yes, sir. there is one thing I want in return from you for this rare favor. Like signal to you, sir. Anything whatsoever. Just anything. Your wife. Yes, sir. She is beautiful. Her beauty radiates. Even though your broke state has not allowed her to flourish the way she ought to. Sadly, so, sir. Sadly. I know. Um, I want her to be my personal assistant. And when I say personal assistant, I mean in all ramifications of the word. She will assist me in the day-to-day -day running of the company and in all other aspects, including sexually. Time I want. Oh, sit down, boy. Sit down. Sit down. I am not going to give my consent to this kind of nonsense, sir. You have insulted me, sir. For your information, those affiliated companies make over a hundred million naira every month. 15% of that is no child's play. You might want to take out time and think about it. I have nothing to think about, sir. Take your dog, eat it. I have nothing if to think about. If you count that though, then you're a coward. Indeed, you're a coward and I'll have nothing to do with you. I won't waste my time on you. It is better for you to take charge of your financial state. If you don't do anything about it, you might lose her entirely. I think you need to take charge of what happens in your wife's life. 
my door is only open to you when you're ready to do business. Have a nice day. Hey, 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 what is it now? Yeah? I want us to talk. Talk about what? What? Is, is that why you're disturbing my rest? Can it not wait till tomorrow? Brian. What? Look, I know you're not sleeping, okay? And you've not been sleeping for the past seven days. And you've refused to tell me the outcome of your meeting with Chief. That's hard to tell, don't you? Lies, Brian. You must tell me something, otherwise you will not sleep tonight. Okay. Wake up. Brian. Oh, wake up. Mama, come on. Wake up now. Look, I'm, don't I look stressed to you? Pray, tell me now. Are you trying to kill me? Ah, Brian, talk to me I'm now. tired. Mm. Wake up, Joe. Wake up. God help me! Tell me now, tell me. I tell you, you will not sleep tonight if you don't tell me what the problem is. Okay, fine. I spoke with him. He told me that he would like me to manage two of his companies on the condition that you work with him, or should I say for him as a personal assistant. You're kidding. What, do I, do I look like I'm joking? Am I not too broke to be joking right now? Babe, I don't see why that is a problem. I mean, honey, talk to me and make me understand because I don't see anything wrong with working with Chief alongside you. I mean, that's what we've been praying for. I'm considering it. Because it is strange to me that he offers a job and then attaches that kind of condition to it. But babe, that's not a reason for you to squeeze up your soul. Look, if this job is not for you, I'm sure you're going to find something soon. Thank you very much. Um, okay, what did he say about us staying in the house? Just kill me now. Kill me, so I won't sleep. I want all the answers tonight. Babe, you're out here. Yeah, thought I just got some air. Uh, yeah, your sister just called and she says you've not been picking her calls. Because there's no point. You and I know that we won't be attending that wedding unless, of course, you have an alternative means as to how we get money for transportation. But babe, 
at least you should have just called her to explain the situation of things to her instead of making her feel you're avoiding her. Yeah, that way the whole world knows our story. They know how miserable we are financially, right? Please now. Let me stay in my shell. It's okay. Um, well, that reminds me. Um, babe, why are you still stalling on Chief's offer? I mean, is there more to this than you're telling me? Jemima. We might not have money. But we have peace of mind. And that is something that you cannot trade for anything else in this world. of yours, Brian. You need to calm down with anger. What is all this? All the time. What's all this now, Brian? Why? What are you talking about? What have I done? He's office manager. He's not nice. He's not for. What? I went there for an interview. These people said that they were going to call me back. They didn't call back. I, I just went there to ask, okay, I've been here. What is going on? But Brian, you know that that is the usual thing they tell all applicants, even when they know they will not call you back. You know this. Why, why, why would they try that kind of nonsense? They, they'll tell you to come for an interview. They will not call me back. You don't try that with, with a hungry person. All are right? you serious? Yes. Brian. I need this job. I need a job. I need money. We are hungry. Stop acting like you don't know what I'm fighting for. What have I done now? They need to calm down with your anger, Seth. Ah! I understand your husband. He is losing it. Oh, of course. Is the first person to, to, to drop this? Where are you going dressed up like this? By this time? Good evening, Mom. Good evening, Bruno. Mm, I can't believe you forgot. Mm. I told you I'll be attending a friend's party and I'll be back even before the party is over. Okay. I did not forget about the party. But I can't remember permitting you to go. Though your father said the driver could take you, but I never obliged. You're not going anywhere. I'm not by this time. Mom, Mom you, you, you can't do this to me. I, I promise to be at this party. Please. Okay. Blue. Yes, ma'am. You know your mom. You know me too well. You know that once my mind is made up, nothing, nothing can change it. You know what I want you to do? Just go inside. Take good pictures of yourself because the dress looks amazing on you. Mm? Then enter your bed and sleep because you're not stepping out. Not by this time. Go upstairs. And you, what's so funny? Ah, good morning, neighbor. How are you night? Anna, yo. Alpha. What is this? Thank God. 
Uh, if I say just, you just, you just they come from market. No, I just they share my goods from small. No, your, your shop they always full. Yeah, and that's what you've been. That's what you've been. What do you want today? I want some things, you know, for for house. Uh, you get sardine. I have, I have it. Sardine. Okay. Okay. How many? Sardine or gish? I know one, three. Bring three. You uh, get you eh, sardine. Eh, then you get Milo. Give me one roll. Three hundred. Three hundred. Okay. Um, Milo, one roll. You go complete. Now I trust you. <laughs> Um, powder milk, one roll. Sachet milk. Uh, that no, now I get to. Uh, bring them. Nothing spoiled. How many? One roll, now. Just bring ah. one roll like that. <laughs> okay, Brian, this is where they buy plates like this now. No, wala. So, all this ones, how much? Let me put that for nylon now. Two you get, you get nylon. I get, oh. You don't buy finish. I know, my carry this one. 2003. My put them, my happy. Oh, okay. So, 600, 700. One, two, three, four, five. Nine fifty. Five hundred there is one thousand four fifty. Hey, I go find something for this one. You go, you go manage like I go manage, I go hold on. I go hold on. Thank you. So everything how much? Two thousand two. Two two. Yeah. Wow. How madam now? She did fine, she did wow. fine. If madam come, uh, if that uh, this no thing voila. comes back, I will bring it. You remain now. I know, I know. You remain. I go I balance you. How? I go balance you. Now hold it, I go balance you. Mama guy, hold this thing. Which level? What? 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 So the first time website they can't collect something, the website they pay you. And they pay you now. Bro, if you don't buy anything cheap for here, I'll see. They go soon pay our salary. Then if they pay, I go come pay you. And they ask, I go pay you. Which kind of bad market be this one now? No, be bad market. At least I don't come empty handed. I don't go full shop now. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, my shirt. They get the time when I know they owe you. I mean, they pay. I beg, wait. Because things are like this, no means I don't go pay. I mean, they pay you one time more. Eh? Ah, Baba. You want final. What do you want today? I want a get stout. Stout, eh? I never go market, but I get a uh, vitam vitamot. Okay. Anna yo. Anna yo. Anna yo. Eh, that mot, the mot there. Okay, mot. See now. Bring two packs. Um, Anna, Anna yo. Uh, yeah, that, that milo there. Milo. Yes, the big one, the big two. Ah. Okay, so they buy something I say, Madam Bonkey. Then the custard. Yes, the one, the, yes, that big one, yes. Okay. How much is it? Seven thousand. Seven K. Brian, stop acting like a chicken and take a seat. So, talk to me. along with all the conditions attached to it? Yes. 
Excellent. Okay. I'm a very articulated man who likes to have all his dealings on paper. What is this? These are the terms of the agreement between us. You might want to go through them. Go ahead, open it. The first page states that this agreement is strictly between you, Jemima and myself. The second page states that I can sleep with her whenever it pleases me. The third... No, she can. She will have to escort you. To any treatment event, whatever you choose and however you choose, without objections. Uh, Brian, let's stick to the name on the pages. Jemima, and not my wife. The fourth page states that you cannot question how she attends to my needs and that considering the nature of her job, she might have to sleep out of home from time to time. And that she could not get pregnant until you're tired. I choose to put an end to this agreement. That's the fifth page. Good. And the last page states that you're not allowed to disrespect her in regard to this agreement and that you should accord her all the respect she deserves. Now, if you're in agreement to all of this, sign the last page and we have a deal. And Ryan, this agreement takes effect immediately. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Welcome home. Thank you. Thanks. Why did you walk up to you? Woo! <laughs> what? Mm. I, took, I, took, I took time, right? Mm -hmm. You took a lot of time. What kept you? <laughs> you find out. Hmm, <laughs> what's got the puppy still flapping? I haven't seen you this bread in quite a while. Say hello to your new job, baby. <laughs> Wait. Mm. Right. And you're going to let me be the chief personal assistant? Right. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay with this? Absolutely. I mean, it's professional. <gasps> oh my goodness! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Babe, I told you that the tables would turn to our favor, babe. Yeah. You said so. And I promise to work very hard. Mm -hmm. And I promise never, ever, ever to disappoint you. Mm -hmm. Oh, babe. I believe you. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, um, that's for you. That, that, co that, that covers you. That this, this right here. This right here is, is my contract. Wow. All right. Yeah, the closest are for Oh my god, the tables are truly turning. Oh my goodness, this is great, babe. Okay, these are for benefits for both of us. <gasps> oh, babe, I'm so happy. I oh, love you so much. Oh my I love god. you too, baby. Oh my god, oh my god. Things will get better. I know. Take oh, it easy. Oh, babe. We'll be fine. This is good. I know. This is good. <sighs> it's good. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, babe, so how is it coming for you? Well, so far so good, but I haven't seen Chief yet. But his secretary saw me into his office. And according to her, she's been waiting for me because Chief told her we have some things to do. 
and there's not a blood. Hmm. Oga manager. All right, talk to you later. Oh my God. Good morning, sir. Jemima. Mm. Nice to see you. Thank you, sir. I'm glad to have you all to myself. Thank you. So I am so sorry about the other day. And thank you so much for this job. I promise to offer my best services, sir. It's all right. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Jemima, Jemima. Jemima the Queen. <laughs> By the way, I am... Um, I hope you're satisfied with the arrangement. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Now listen, darling. We're going to attend a function together this evening. And I want you to look hot. So the secretary will give you a check as you step out. What for, sir? Well, to rebrand yourself, repackage yourself. I mean, if you have to go out with me as my personal assistant and escort, you must appear as classy as possible. Don't get me wrong. Listen, you're beautiful all the time. I guess you're beautiful even when you wake up from sleep. <laughs> but what I mean is, I want, I want you to radiate my taste. I want you to be the center of attraction. I want all eyes to be on you at this meeting. Okay? Yes, sir. Great. And from now on, just address me as chief. Certainly, chief. Good. All right. Good afternoon, sir. The weekend is coming along fine, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. Bye. What's the problem? Chief needs me now. I could call him and cancel and, I mean, after all, it's the weekend. No, 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 it's okay. You don't want to make that kind of impression. I mean, it's a new job, you just, you, know, you barely got. It's fine, do okay. We can do this some other time, all right? I'm always here. Hmm? Let's go. Is there a Bottega and the rest of them? Who is this piece of heart? <laughs> Chief, it's new. Have it. Yes. Oh, well. Chief. <laughs> You're not. Mm. Well, 
This is the queen herself, Queen Jemima. You are. <laughs> In flesh and blood. Yeah, you know, my friend, Chief, the way you spoke about her, uh, <laughs> I am not disappointed at all. <laughs> mm. uh, are you all right, my dear? Or are these old men making you uncomfortable? <laughs> <laughs> Husband. I'm worried about him because he's not taking my calls. Because he understands that it's working. Look, my dear, don't worry about Brian, okay? Brian, you do. Okay? Okay. Just relax. You are uh, chief. Is our Jemmy now, right? Yes, Chief. I'm, I'm, I'm all sure. right. Yes, yes, Chief. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Well, here we are. Thank you so much for dropping me off, Chief. You're welcome. Your official car should be ready by next week. And soon, Brian should be able to afford you a better place. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. You were the center of attraction. <laughs> and all my friends attest to that. Thanks, sir. <laughs> I have to thank you for taking our time to look hot. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I should run along now, and I'm sorry for keeping you up so, so late. Okay. You can take the day off tomorrow oh. while I take care of some personal issues. Thank you so much, Chief. Thank you. Good night, Chief. Good thank night. You. Are you leaving just like that?
Hi baby. Um, no babe, it's my day off. Babe, about last night, I am so sorry. It will never happen again. Oh, please, Ari, stop <laughs> ranting. Look at you. Hmm. See how your troubled days are over. Abby, just a few weeks ago, you and Brian were a pity item. My dear, I can hardly believe in myself. Hmm. But, Irene, I'm worried. And I feel somewhat guilty. Why is that? Shouldn't Brian feel uneasy about the nature of my job? I don't think I understand you. Look, Chief makes me come home late practically every night, sometimes as late as 11 p.m. I mean, and very soon we might even have to start traveling out of town on business trips. Is Brian complaining? Not at all, and that is the problem. I mean, he seems so cool with the entire arrangement. It's getting me so confused. <laughs> Why are you laughing now? I'm not, it's not funny. See what people, you can never please them enough. The man simply understands the nature of your job. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Are you still asking? Listen, my dear. This kind of your job is not the type one does forever. You might have to stop when you have saved enough money and the man simply understands it that way. My dear, see. I take my advice. Hmm? Appreciate the man for his maturity. Okay? Please. Smile. Put a smile on your face. I'm not giving you that. <laughs> you might for me. <laughs> She's loaded. <laughs> She's loaded. Do my hair for me. <laughs> Alaji, you know that's not true. But if that's the way you want it, no problem. I'll definitely oblige you. Or I'll call you later. Hello, Jemima. Come over here, my darling. Sit down, sit down. Jemima. <laughs> You know, your beauty seems to be, I don't know, undergoing a rejuvenation process every day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm serious. <laughs> hmm. I have been restraining myself a lot. You know, I can't keep myself off this beautiful body anymore. <laughs> what are we going to do about it? <laughs> Jeez. I know, okay? I can understand your plight, okay? So just relax. Relax. Mm. Mm. This feels really good. <laughs> Thank you. I think I should undergo a, a, a real massage session one of these days. Mm. I wonder what a real time out with you will feel like. 
I'm sure you can imagine, Chief. But for now, let's talk about the pre-rally meeting with the plaza we made today by 12. Good heavens. It's today? Yes, sir. Certainly today, sir. Oh, my goodness. And I've been so, so tensed up about it. To think that I'm not even prepared for it. Can we cancel? Oh, definitely not, sir. You do not want to stand the women up. Okay, I'll quickly write up a speech and add up a couple of points, something that the women will definitely love to hear. You can do that? Of course, Chief. Why not? That is my job, remember? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, you go and do that and come back quickly. Okay. I'll be back in a jiffy with the most amazing speech you've ever heard, okay? And when I return, we'll rehearse it together. That's my pleasure. <laughs> All right, excuse me, Chief. All right. All right. <sighs> But still, I'm sure that we have food in the refrigerator. It is way better that it's still food that stand in the queue. Trying to buy food. See what you've reduced me to. I can hear how excited you are. Spent all day with another man. See when you're coming back from work. How do you think it makes me feel? Huh? You expect me to share with that excitement. You are not allowed to disrespect her in regard to this agreement and that you should accord her all the respect she deserves. It's my day off and I'll be escorting Chief for a business trip in Ghana the day after tomorrow, so I was just hoping that we could spend the evening together. Ah, uh, no. I really cannot guarantee that we we'll have a lot to do on the office today, but if anything changes, I'll let you know. Hey! 
We'll get out of here. Come on in here. Do not mind that silly street chick. I've got a complete and correct package for you. One who will give you all of the wonderful and beautiful treatment you've ever longed for. Hey, but if you do not like it, feel free not to come to the club anymore. Sir? Sir? Yes. The person here? Of course, she's in the cell. in being a rich man, you know? <laughs> Yet the poor man will be where he is wishing he were in the rich man's shoes. Yeah, the irony of life, Chief, isn't it? Indeed. <laughs> but I'm not too exhausted to be with you. Huh, really? Mm -hmm. So by the time I'm done with you tonight, you will not be able to remember your wife. You sure about that? Certainly, Chief. All right. So just relax. worked out. I am indeed. Um, okay, I'm going to leave right now and then first thing tomorrow morning, I'll be back to see you. Okay, I hope you got a comfortable room for yourself too. Yes, Chief. All right, good night. Good see night, you tomorrow. Chief. Thank you. Good night, Chief. Oh, Celia, 
Yeah, you don't know how happy I am to finally have you around. Brian and I could really use your help. Oh, look at you. I am so, so sorry. My flight got delayed, but I'm happy you were able to locate the cable I told you to pick it up from. No problem. Oh, How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Mommy, could you stop talking about the money you spent so hard? Mm. Trust me. I have my own share of the national cake. Which share of which national cake? Look ah. at your mouth. Go digger. So look at you. Harsh. But anyway, I expected you deserve everything I have to offer. You know you were there for us, remember? <laughs> um, by the way, where is Brian? I've not seen him since I came. Um, Brian went out of town, but he should be back today, though. Oh, okay. Oh, look, so look at you. So, <laughs> <laughs> how have you been? How is your work? <sighs> I hope Chief is feeling true. Girl, don't even mention it, okay? Because Brian will not hear anything of it. Please, please, please. And as usual, that old man, he's been really, really silly, but hey, I'm pulling through with some wisdom. Hey, silly? Are you pulling through? Come on, give me food, give me food. Look, look at my life, food. Look at you're not serious. Let me carry my bag upstairs. Come on, let's go upstairs. Wow, how was your trip? Are you serious? You really look nice. Right. Look at your own waist. Talk about waist. You're so funny. Come on. Brian, why is there a shortfall in raw material? Well, sir, this um, is a reflection on the raw supply curve, sir. I don't think that's the answer to my question. Have you been mastering this business or have you been messing around with the fat, undeserved pay you get? Well, sir, what I'm trying to say is that um, there's been a flaw in the supply of raw materials and that's why things are looking like this and that's because of the freeze at the international market last month. So. Okay, that's a more comprehensive answer. All right, all right. Thank you, sir. Uh, by the way, are you aware that I'm expanding Denzel to Ghana? Yeah, yes, sir. I, I learned of it. <laughs> yes, sir. As a matter of fact, it was totally Jemima's idea. That woman is amazing, I must confess. She's been more useful than I had envisaged. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. And you're doing great, Brian. You're indeed doing great. You're a smart boy. And I must commend you to keep it up. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Why don't you get a bottle of wine? Let's, let's toast to more achievements. OK. I'll do that, sir. All right. Sorry, I I had to get done with my boss that way, you know. I have a friend that just keeps to walk away and come see me. Did uh, you? Of course I did. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> really now, <dark>, come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't know do that. Yet. <laughs> hey, what? What? Take it easy now, time rest. Come on, I just got here. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Hmm? If not that I stay with this troublesome housemate, mm -hmm. I would have preferred you come over to my place. Really? It's my local name, Neil. <laughs> it's me up as well. Hit you up. And then we get down on each other. Well, you've got plans, I tell you. <laughs> sure, I do. Uh, uh, Why are you being this, Steve? Um, look, you know, I know the last time that we had um, a moment together, I was, you know, a bit too tipsy. Okay. To have a decent conversation with you. Uh, remember, you promised, however, that you're going to tell me, look at me, why you do what you do, why you get with men for money. Hmm? You promised. What if I asked you what you were doing the other day at the club all by yourself without your wife? Look, baby. Let's just say that was Destiny's way of bringing us together. 
I have never been that adventurous in my life before. Listen, I'm not going to judge you, okay? I mean, these things happen. But you have to promise me that you would stop. I like you, I like your whole lot. I mean, look at you, you're a beautiful woman, but you have to promise me, though, that you would stop. Because I will be footing 90% of your bills. I will take care of you the best way that I can, but you must stop. You see, I have had this. Um accommodation issues for, for a couple of months now and uh, that was why I went all out thinking I can put things up by myself. It's fine. But you if know, you stop, we're fine. Do you promise? Sure, I do. You see, ever since the first day I set my eyes on you when Sylvia brought me to your house, I never knew I would have a date with you. Really? Yes. I can't believe that. But I promise you, baby. I promise you and I swear. You promise? I promise you. You sure? Yeah. even sleep. Okay, tomorrow, okay. It's tomorrow. Let me sleep that tomorrow. If that's what you said the last time I tried to initiate. I can't even remember the last time you touched me. Yeah, I think it's best for us that way. Okay? Just please, let me sleep. Brian, what do you mean by that? What do you mean, what do I mean? I'm tired. Well, I'm not in the mood to have sex. Is that a problem? I'm tired. But don't people get tired where you come from? I'm tired. Good night. I had you, then I lost you. Then can we proceed? <clears throat> sure. But before we do that, I need to point out something so that my mind will be clear. Okay. Honorable Greg, I don't like what you just did. What? You know very well that this young lady is my guest. If you need to speak to her, there's no need to speak the way you did. Just tell me, and I'll tell her to excuse us. How? how did My I friend, I heard him speak. Let me finish, let me finish what I'm oh, saying. Yeah, yeah. Are you all right? I'm fine. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm Nobu. Alaji Shakri, personal assistant. So what's the name? I'm Jemima. Oh, wow. What a lovely name. Got. So, what are you? Escort? Personal assistant? 
or a hookup. Don't you think you're rather too blunt? <laughs> Life of a blogger. Part of it. I see. Well, I assist Al Haji's best friend. Oh, she's a donor. How come we've not met? Anyway, I'm honored to meet you. But I must say that you are absolutely astonished. No, 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 no. She's not. Let me finish what I'm saying. Let me finish what I'm saying. We all have had occasions when we have come here with guests for our meetings and we've had to excuse them in a very civil and polite manner. There is a way to do things. Calm All right. down, calm down, relax. Rebecca, you have to admit your fault. My friend, are you supporting him? Are you supporting him? Are you? Gentlemen, have you seen him? I, I know that. Not supposed to be here. I think we Show should wave things aside. Show some and decency. Concentrate on the reason why we're here. Show some decency. Okay. If you need me to speak to you rudely, I will do that. There is no need for that, please. There is no need. Nonsense. Donald, I expect you to take nonsense. correction what I said. I, I don't need correction from you. What yeah. nonsense correction? You are a crude person. You are crude. Gentlemen, have you seen it? Where, you are crude. Where are you, going to? you are crude. Is it sorting Let us no, call no, a spade a spade. Calm you down. are crude. Calm down. There is no nonsense. Need for Donald, don't insult me. You have already insulted me. So let me give it back to you. The girl you. is no longer here. Let's keep that nonsense. No. Chief. Chief. I'm allergy. Mr. Allergy, please, let me see you briefly. Rubbish. Rubbish. You have to insult yourself. Look at you. Look at you. Look, look, at, look at them. Best of the same better. Please go to, go to hell, please. I don't bother care. Please go to hell. Let me hear. Out of this place. Okay. Can you imagine? I'm, I'm going to deal with him. I think this is the right time. This is the right time to deal with this idiot. Excuse me. Are you, are you okay? Something enter my eye. Let me check it out. <coughs> by the time I finish with this idiot, by the time I finish with him, can you imagine? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's out now. I think something entered my eye.
Calm down. Just can imagine. We don't need to rant over flimsy issues. Okay. It's all right. Gentlemen, <coughs> disagreements will occur from time to time. That's right. Even amongst brothers. This meeting is called to order. But before we carry on, I'd like to mention something to all of you. Okay. I want Honorable Greg to tell us why he put something in my drink. Meaning what? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Chief. What are you talking Chief. about? He's here with me. You are here with Honorable me. Honorable here is with me. There's a drink. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Donald. I have my reasons. You're insulting me, Mr. Donald. Who do you think you are? You are nobody before me. You are nobody before me. I'm my saying friend, you. Sir, sir. you. Please spare me that. Both of you are best of temper that. If you know you did not put anything in this Why drink, I taste it. I would no, not. taste it. If you know you didn't gentlemen, put anything in, your, in this uh, drink. I have to take it. No, no, no. What no, kind no. of rubbish is this? You yeah, want me to prove it to you? Wait, what kind of rubbish is this? Do you stay here let me prove it to you. Prove what? Stay here let me prove it to you. That is no point. Can you see that? Guilty and afraid, my friend. Guilty and afraid. Let me Chief, Ma. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. oh bless you. Thank you, Ma. You're an angel. Thank you, Ma. Thank, thank you. you so much for saving my husband's life, okay? It's okay, ma, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Oh, boss, boss, sit. <laughs> thank you, ma. You are so beautiful. Thank you, ma, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for saving my husband's life. So tell me, how did it happen? It all happened so fast. I just saw the poison drink and I just snapped. It really happened really quick. Thank you so much. It's okay. God bless you. Okay. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Whoever oh, even grateful to you. Thank you. Ah, people are so wicked. Very, very wicked. That's Jesus. wicked. I don't think that he's a very good friend to both of yours. No, Honorable Greg is not a friend. He certainly is not a friend. Thank God for his intervention. That's good. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay, ma. Um, Chief, ma'am, please, I would like to take my leave now. Thanks. No, 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 no. I'm not going anywhere. This is past three in the morning. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stay here, rest your head until it is bright out there, okay? Ma, I really I insist. Love... I insist. Okay. Blue, take a three years to, okay? Thank you, right, Mark. Thank you, Chief. Right. Excuse me. Thank you. countless times last night and you wouldn't pick my calls. I'm sorry. Look, babe, you will not in 
imagine what happened last night. I saved the chief from being poisoned last night at the party. You see, all these politicians, eh? They are so devious. Just wicked set of men. Just terrible. I mean, like, I am so tired. I just need to rest because with the terror of last night, I could barely shut my eyes. It was really terrible. Oh, good God. Um, honey, are you not going to work today? It's Saturday morning. Oh my, um, I totally forgot. I Sorry. really forgot. Because your mind has been busy. The chief. That's all you think of, that's all you talk about. Chief, chief, chief. Honey, honey, please. If it's about last night, it wasn't totally my fault. It wasn't my fault. That you now kiss Chief in public is my fault. It is my fault that you cannot keep your escapades with him secret anymore. You had to take it a notch higher and make it public. My fault. Babe, please, it is not what you think. I can explain myself. Oh, come on now. Quit the pretest. Stop acting like you don't enjoy your new position as Chief Douglas is the personal assistant. Babe, please, you need to stop overreacting. I can totally explain myself. Explain what? That you enjoy your new occupation as a paid corporate prostitute. Explain what exactly? <laughs> See why you come home and you tell me to understand. Don't talk to her that way. Who is this fly that thinks herself a bird? How do you speak when I'm talking to my wife? Next time, be quiet! It's okay, no problem. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Hmm? Jemima. Yes, you don't look cheerful. Are you all right? I'm okay, sir. Fine. Listen, Jemima. Your coming into my life might have been by reason of my selfish and indecent intentions towards you, but you have been more than an angel to me. So whatever threatens or troubles you is also a threat to me. So tell me, what is the problem? Does it have anything to do with your husband? Oh no, sir. I Brian and I are perfectly fine, sir. You sure about that? Yes, sir. Okay. These are the keys to a car, a small car that is parked beside my car. Did you see the car when you came in? Yes, it's beautiful, sir. I noticed it. All right. It's yours now. Thanks. Listen. God used you to give me a second chance in life. And I guess I'll spend the rest of my life just showing you appreciation for that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Listen, because of what you did, I intend to make the most of my life. Chief, you will be fine. You're a good man, Chief. No, 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 Jemima. I haven't exactly been a good man. But I intend to make up for it. Listen, I want you to arrange a trip to Kenya.
for my wife and I. I want to take a little holiday with my wife immediately after the primary elections. Wow, oh, Chief, that's an amazing idea. I commend the Chief. Thank and you. I have no doubt about your victory, Chief. Thank you very much. You are priceless. And I wish Brian knew that. Thank you so much for excellent. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, by the way, um, the Campus Invasion Rally. I want you to front it. Can you do that? Oh my God. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes, I can. You would love that? Yes. Okay, so you take care of that. Thank you so much. Thank that's you, okay, that's Thank okay. You. No, 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 off you go. <laughs> Thank You might have to hasten up with your preparations of getting me an accommodation, Brian. What? You heard me. Of course I, I heard you. And why is that if I may ask? Because I'm carrying your child, Brian. Your child, our child. <laughs> is it funny? Hilarious, I tell you. You, you are totally hilarious. <laughs> what is wrong with Luke? Let me tell you something. Stop it. All right, you've got yourself a wrong man. What is wrong with you? Do you remember that I'm happily married? Do you? Oh, Brian. Married, I'm aware. But the happy part of it, you will have to refuse. Because I, Susan, is not going to tamper with this child in my womb. Never. Now before you think of messing up with me, you have to do a quick flashback of where and how it went. Traveled out of the country with his wife. 
Yeah. When are we going for shopping? <sighs> my dear, I don't know. The only thing on my mind right now is how to catch up with Brian. You know, it just feels like our marriage is crumbling and there's nothing I'm doing about it. Um, so, what do you intend to do? <sighs> I'm still thinking about it. But I'm yet to explain about that so-called kissing incident with Chief. But it's not your fault that he wouldn't listen. By the way, is it just me or is Brian being too sneaky in your present? What are you talking about? <laughs> Never mind. What do you mean I should not mind? What are you talking about, Celia? <sighs> I think he sneaks around to play his cause. Occasions I've seen Brian run up the lobby, the balcony, and at times he sneaks out to take his calls while you're still sleeping. Celia, what are you insinuating? <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't know. Maybe, just maybe, you should be mindful of him. Who knows? He might notice something. Excuse me. Let me check the whole phone. Hello? Hello? Yes, um, any new developments? No? You said no? Are you serious? Whoa. <laughs> Let's have it in my house then. I mean, <laughs> Elizabeth will be coming over. <sighs> Absolutely free. <laughs> and my parents are out of town and I'm not expecting them anytime soon. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'll just let my sister in on it. I'm sure she'll be cool. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. You've got no worries. <laughs> hey. I said hey. What is it, Bruno? And what was the call about? Daniel wanted us to go out for his birthday. But I invited him to the house instead. I mean, <laughs> Elizabeth is coming, you know. What? I don't want a repeat of what happened the last time. I mean, two friends like just a, a, a girl. Oh, you. Relax and think about this. There is absolutely nothing to think about. Okay. When last you attended a party? This would be funny, you know? But if we must do have this party, um. I think we have to do away with the servants oh. and um, make it the party for four. Simple. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Let me just call that and I'll give you a heads up. Also, no smoking. <sighs> cool. trying to do. Don't oh, please. Don't, don't tell me you're start. getting jealous. Hey, 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 She's hey, mine. Hey. Oh.
why don't we play the DNA to set this place in our place? Ah, truth or dear bitches? Whoa. How are you feel today? Lizzie, I can see you're looking for something else. Oh, please, please. Oh, you for there. I mean. What? So it is up on me. Oh, okay. To you. you hear me? I dare you to kiss him. Oh wow. <laughs> I can't. Oh no. You want me to feel jealous? Oh please. Uh huh. I mean. Your baby. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Oh. You actually did that? Of course, of course. won't she? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god. Whoa. I found on me again. Huh? It's definitely your night. It's you again. I dare you to kiss him. <sighs> no. No, I won't. Oh, please. No Pour a hundred thanks. Please give her a little. little. Thank you. No. A <laughs> hundred thanks. God, drink oh, it. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right, you spin. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Bruno, you? Whoa. So, okay. I dare you to strip for us. No way. What? I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. You heard her. Give me the drink, please. Give me the drink. <laughs> Give me the drink. Uh, ah, no, 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 no. Oh, you mean you can't do it? Oh, no, 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 no. Give me the drink. <laughs> <laughs> what? what you why wouldn't you? What you want to see? Oh, mm. please. My turn. Oh, all right. Hey, Blue. If you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Yup. No, oh, I can get it. It's on you. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Yo, 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 I dare you to. I dare you to kiss Blue. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Oh. Wish you name me pastor. <laughs> Who is this? Pastor? Yeah. <laughs> oh, please, don't stop that. Oh. Oh, oh my God. See, you know I can't do that. I'm a good guy. Oh, please. Please, <laughs> pour me some drink. Oh. Yes. Oh. I'm definitely going to pour you the drink. <sighs> Here we are. Actually, we can easy, you know? man. Easy, you know. Let's see over the bar. Hey, watch that thing behind you. I dare you, I dare you, I dare you.
Bruno? Bruno? Going from there. Okay. Thank you, ma. As you would, you go with her. Will you take you? I can't even think anything. It's no one. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? See, as it stands now, I don't care about what happens now. to me. Wake up now. Wake up now. from this mess. I just want this shit to just end. It's just end. Yeah. What if I go home to bring my brother's car to take, to take me to the dead body? What do you think? Bullshit, Daniel! If you think this is your way on, of paying on us, then you failed. What's your problem? You got us into this. Oh, please. And it's going to bail on you. you hold, on. To, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now. Ah. <laughs> See, Blue, I think I buy his idea. I mean, the, the servants would be resuming tomorrow from the break we we'll, we'll give them. Then what are we saying? Let's just use this evening to clear this whole thing, please. Just. Ah. Oh, Blue. Ah. Please just go. go. Oh, Dan. Yeah, Bruno. How are you? Huh? 
Uncle Brent. What? It's not what you think. Uncle Brent, it's not what you think. But it is what I see. You uh, two have killed a human being. No, you did not kill her. No kill her. But she's lying still. Uh, <laughs> what is going on here? How, how did this happen? Someone talk to me. <laughs> Yes, Chief. Hey. Sir, I'm, 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 I'm in your house right now, and, and there's a situation that, that calls for your urgent attention, if you ask me, sir. Right away, sir, if you ask me. Okay, sir. I am so, so disappointed. And with the way I feel, I will let you people face the consequences of your actions. They didn't kill the girl. It was simply an accident. Well, who will believe that? Who? I mean, what kind of temptation is this? Eh? My enemies will laugh at me. They will laugh at me. This is, this, this is a threat to my political standing. And at this stage in my career, I cannot afford this. I can't afford this scandal. Dad, with, with the situation of things now, I, I think it's best we record the issue ourselves. Shut your mouth! What? Shut your mouth! This is Nigeria. Things don't work that way. <sighs> Gosh. Apart from Brian, who else knows about this? Nobody that. Now, keep it that way. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Go upstairs now, two of you. Never mention this to anybody. Never. Okay, that. Go upstairs. <sighs> We can't dispose of the body like that. What about the young man, Daniel? My mind is as preoccupied as yours. For now, let me take care of Brian, okay? Um, I just hope that this doesn't get into the hands of my enemies. I just hope. appreciate the way you handled the situation in my house. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm the first person you told about it, right? Yes, sir. Just you. Good. I want you to remain that way. You hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Wow. Remember me? 
Novo. She... Yeah. So, Rachel. Well, I just um, came to the office to pick up something and head back home because Chief is not on seat at the moment. He's handling some personal things. Don't you think you should, you should involve in everything? I mean, your job description as a PA. <laughs> Very funny. You're funny, I must say. Um, anyway, what are you doing here? Well, actually, I have a meeting with a friend who happened to be a blogger too. Oh, okay. I see he's in this plaza? No, across the street. Oh, I see. So, you know how it goes here? I'm just trying to maximize parking space. Okay. Yeah, it's a pleasure meeting you again. Same here. Now, don't you know it's composite for you for you to give him your number? You know the way you left the other day. Look, the truth is that I could be useful to you. No one can tell. Okay, alright, here you go. Okay. Okay. 0808 0808921-3397. Okay. All right. Okay. My mom. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Take You're care. Welcome. Okay. You're welcome. All right. Bye. Coward, and I will have nothing to do with you. I won't waste my time on you. is in my hands. <laughs> oh yeah. Your life is in my hands. Oh look, I I have things all figured out now, right? And forgive me for the way I spoke to you a couple of days ago. I'm sorry. And for what you've requested of me, I'll pay you, all right? But well, you have to be patient to have this deal that I want to strike. And as soon as I have that done, I'll pay you what you've asked of me, all right? Okay, what deal and how much are you willing to pay? Um, do you know Chief Donald? Of MPP? Governorship candidate. Yes, well, I do. A couple of days ago, he sent me to his house to pick up a few things and a particular document. I walked in there and I found a dead girl. Yes, I have the documents with me. I have pictures of the dead girl. I have evidence and I intend to sell it to his main rival. So as soon as I do that, I'll have you sorted. Um, do you have the picture with you? Yes, I do. Why do you ask? Nothing. Though he left his party for another after she won the primaries. But you see that man, he can pay anything to her chief. So why are you asking? The last part I like how it sounds. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Do you know something? Yeah, I think I do. Hold on. Show you something. Uh, let's see what we have here.
Is that a dead girl? Remember one time she traveled with a wife abroad? Yes. I think the kids decided to feel free and then decided to, um, you know, have a party in the house. And the girl died. <gasps> Coincidentally, he had sent me to the house on the day of his return to get a document for him. And I think the kids were trying to hide it. But then I bumped in on them and then saw the girl. And you know, I took a picture. Oh my God. Does, yeah. does Chief know about... Wait. No wonder. Wait, that's why Chief has been a little put off since he returned. Oh my God. I like to think that they must have disposed of the body now, but um, I'm thinking of selling this story. Wait, Brian, what are you talking? I, what, what, what are you talking about? You can't do that. Why can I not do that? And why are you? Why, why are you overreacting? But Brian, that is evil. What is evil? I, Look, I, this is a very good deal uh, for us, all right? Very good deal. You should be happy. Besides, what? Chief Donald will never know who saw the story. Uh, but Brian, that is so evil. How could you consider such a plan against a man who has been nothing but good to you? Good to us? You honestly think that Chief Donald has been good? For nothing. <laughs> ah, Chibaima, come on now. That man is getting everything that he's always wanted. What he wanted. What are you even talking about, Brian? Do I look tired? Yeah, I think I'm tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long day, darling. I need to take a shower. Hey, what's going on? You sounded very disturbed on the phone. Yes, I'm really disturbed. And by the time you know what I know, definitely is going to be disturbed too. Okay? Take a look. Where did you get that from? From a blogger friend. I've never met your blogger friend, obviously. Yeah, you haven't met him. Remember the day I make use of your company parking space? Yeah, it was the one I came to meet, and it worked for Honorable Greg. But somehow, somebody just recently sold a story of a dead girl found in Chief Donna's residence. Oh my God, Brian. Excuse me? Um, never mind, never mind. Yeah, he, he confided with, with me, with, the, with it, and... Okay, but you know what, we need to go see Chief right away, okay? Please. Do this for me and for the sake of the relationship with your boss's best friend, please. Okay? Let's go see Chief right now. Okay. But that's what it is. Once this thing gets out, my career is over. Chief, I think I have an idea. The only way to prove things to no witnesses is by keeping records and pictures. Whatever it takes to silence all this. It might not be easy for us to silence honorable Greg, sir. But we can get a testimony of those kids that, involved, that witnessed the event. What do you think? No way. No way. This is madness. What if we end up messing everything? What if the girls' parents decide to
to see my children. What do we do? Ruth, relax. Okay? Sit down, sit down, sit down. Bruno, any luck? Yes, aunt. But he's scared to show up. He ended the call earlier to about a testimony. You see? You see? Did you hear that? My children are going in on this alone. I, I want us to do something. Let us back off. Yes. Let's look for the girl's parents. Pay them off. I mean, compensate them. It's too late for that. I already notified the commissioner of police. Let me go and get my tripod camera. I'll be right back. Daniel, how are you? You're welcome. Please sit down. Thank you very much for agreeing to do this. Hmm? And then, sir, about the record now. So all we need is just your cooperation. We need a testimony, right? Okay, sir. Let's go. <laughs> We lost our friend. She, she, she fell in herself. She, she, she was drunk. We, we didn't do anything to take care. Custody. All right, all right, no problem. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you, Congress. Um, the Commissioner will send some police Hold on, hold on, listen to me. Listen, this is standard procedure. It will only be for a short while. And he will ensure that you people come out as soon as possible. This is the best, this is the best action we are taking. Let it be on record that this is what will happen. Do you understand?
looking for one Madame Ito Elizabeth's aunt. Um, Madam, my name is Miss Jemima Isimi, and this is my boss, Chief Donald. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Um, Madam, I just came to tell you that there was an accident at Chief's place um, involving the children. So Elizabeth was at the party at Chief's place, so she drowned and then she passed away. Hey! I'm so sorry. Hey! 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 I remember Elizabeth. Elizabeth was my only sister child and also my daughter. I don't understand what you people are telling me. It's okay, it's okay, please, please, it's okay. See, we are sincerely sorry. Hmm? Like we said before, it was an accident. Nobody planned it. It just happened like that. It took everybody unawares. Hmm? Just take heart. Hmm? This is just a token to say take heart. Hmm? It's a check of one million naira. Thank you, sir. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, sir. It's okay. We intend to run an NGO in the name of Elizabeth hmm? okay. so that we will immortalize her and your own son, I'm very sure, will be the first beneficiary of that scholarship. Thank you, sir. Hmm? Just take heart, okay? Thank you, sir. God will help you. God Thank will strengthen you, you and comfort you. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Hmm. Really? <laughs> That's great news. Oh, that's great news. Thank God. All right. I'll talk to you later. My children are home now. Oh, thank God. That's good news. Yes, thank God. And thank you to Jemima, you and that young man. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, back to what we were discussing. What is this thing about wanting to quit your job? My job has really become a problem in my marriage. How? Chief, it's hard. But my husband thinks I'm sleeping with you. <sighs> well, it's probably because of the uh, agreement we had. He didn't hint you? Hint me on what exactly, sir? I don't understand. Oh. Okay, hold on. I'll show you something. But before I do, Jemima, I want you to forgive me. Okay? It's also a good thing that nothing happened between us. You turned out being an angel sent to me from God. Hey. of 
business. What you think that I did not know that you'd be sleeping with Chief Donald? Do you think I didn't know? Of course I knew about it. So now you want to flip it on me and play holy and down? No, I won't let that happen. All right, I knew about it all along. And by the way, how did you even get hold of this document? You know what? That's not important. But what's important? Here's what is. It's also a good thing that nothing happened between us. You turned out being an angel sent to me from God. You know, a wise friend once told me that the best way to convince non-witnesses is by keeping recordings and images. Okay. That's for all I know, this could have been orchestrated by you and your sugar daddy. This could have been a plot. Okay? So I don't care. You know what? Suit yourself. I don't care whether you believe it or not, because I am leaving you. And to think I have been living with a backstabber Sharing the same bed with a man who sold me for less than a penny. How do you even wake up every day and look at me in the face knowing what you have done? I am done with this deceit. This is too much for me to take. I am leaving you. You will hear from my lawyers. Don't you worry about this time. Please don't leave me. Please. I, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, I, I am really... I'm really sorry. You need to forgive me. Please, forgive me. Alright, I, I, I know I was stupid, I know I was greedy, but I never stopped loving you, alright? I love you. I love you with every part of you. Shut up! You love me, and you dare gamble with my life? I wasn't gambling. I just, I just wanted us to live a better life. Things were rough. Alright, I didn't like the way we were living. I had lost my job. We were about to be evicted from where we were staying. Life was tough. I just wanted us to give up to, to, to have a better life. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry. I am done. Don't you dare ever come after me ever again. I know you feel betrayed. But I just want to say thank you for not leaving. to get better for us. I didn't think it through. But in all of that time, Jemima, I never stopped loving you. I love you, baby. And I just ask that you give us more time to, to face this. Don't give up on us. Don't leave me. something that has been a very heavy burden my chest and I, I need to talk to you about please what is it i'm here to see 
Brian. Brian or me, your friend? Brian, young lady. What for? I am pregnant for Brian. Brian got me pregnant and disappeared into thin air. I am here to see him. Yes, please, you heard me. Go and call your brother in law. Brian! Can you shut up? Brian! Shut up, my friend! Shut up, huh? Brian got you pregnant. See this thing, pregnant. Down, okay, and lower your voice. My, Hello, my husband already told me everything, so just calm down and sit down so that we can sort things out. Hello, madam. I did not come here to sort anything like out. I your said, no, like I said, just calm down. I already know about everything. Just sit down and let's sort things out, okay? This was a really messed up. That info you give me regarding Brian's boss. I I sold I sold the intel to honorable Greg. what you told me yesterday. Of course. Like I said, sir, I have it from a reliable source that Chief Donald murdered the missing Elizabeth in his house. And I also have the picture. Have it, sir. That's interesting. That's interesting. Fantastic. I can agree with this. This is exactly the setting of Chief Donald's living room. Andy, please take a look of this. I work on it, sir. This is the best opportunity to deal with Chief Donald. I work on it, sir. <laughs> and now they are saying it's invalid. <laughs> what? They want me to for me two million naira. <laughs>
sorry too. There is something I want to tell you. I need you to please forgive me. I, I orchestrated everything that caused all this confusion. advantage of him. I only need evidence of him falling for her. That is it. Babe, I am so, so sorry. Please, just find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm so sorry. No one said it was going to be perfect. No one said it was going to be a smooth ride all the way. You do remember the vow that we took, right? Yes, I do. For better. Let's just say that you and I together have just gone through the worst phase of our marriage. We're going to stick together. Yes, we will. As tomorrow promises to even be better. I love you, baby. I love you too, darling. I want you to know. That your floor is my floor. And that our imperfection is our imperfection. I love you too much, I'm not going anywhere. 
I forgive you. Because I know that you love me with all of you. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. Anytime, babe. Come here. I love you too. Are welcome. Please sit down. Um, what can I offer you guys? No, you're not. Bring a bottle of wine and three wine glasses. Yes. I invited you here for a celebration. But well, that cannot happen if you don't find a place in your heart to forgive me for all the pain I caused you. I sincerely apologize and I wish I could undo the hurt. However, I'm also glad that both of you came into my life because God used you to give me a second chance in life and politics. So, I believe um, our meeting was not by accident. This is the key to one of the duplexes in my newly constructed estate. She knows about the estate. As the man of the house, Brian, I hand it over to you. Thank you, sir. It's a gift of appreciation from me to both of you. Thank you. You're welcome. And. Um, this is also the key to one of the SUVs I bought for my campaign. It's also yours. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, this is... I told you I invited you here for a celebration. No, but this is too much. No, it's not too much. You guys deserve it. I mean... Thank you, sir. What can you... I mean, what can you use to quantify a life? It's not possible. So I... I am very happy that I met two young people like you. You've made an impact in my life, and because of you, I have decided to turn a new leaf in my life. So I wish you guys all the best. Lastly, I'm giving you two months' leave starting from today. So go and soak yourselves completely in there. Come back refreshed. My doors are always open. So we <laughs> we don't even know what to say. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You're, you're very welcome. Expecting this coming here. However, sir, we we appreciate the kind gesture. It is my utmost pleasure. Thank you very much, sir. Thank I wish you, you guys too. all the best. More victories for my kids. Thank, right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And now I think we can open this drink and celebrate truly. <laughs> you 